Right, so this is the uh, solar panel I bought. It's from Kerrig Solar, 200 watt. Now the multimeter on the ground onto the voltage. You know, we're getting 23 and 24 volts, eh? Ooh. Right, a bit windy, but uh, what I'm doing, just marking it out. I'm going to put it, I think, that's where I want it, so I'm just going to mark the ends, so I know where, where it is, just here, Oop. and the back here. Should be enough, really. Another line there. That should be good. Let's go put them in. Don't want too much. Before I forget, just want to clean off the top of this as well. Make sure it's uh,
See that? So I've come through the top here now, and uh, two wires. And what I do, I should run them. There's a, a small gap here at the back. And I should run them down, and down the back of the wardrobe, and then uh, through here. So I'm running through here to do the electrics. Um, we'll get all this out. That's a proper job. Yeah. Okay. Left the brick on to get that firm. Next job is to clamp these down. So here on uh, the electrics, what I've done is previous, all the wires here, this lot here, were all connected to the battery terminal. We've got six black wires all coming off, which is a bit of a pain because when I wanted to take the battery off, when you took those wires out, they just flew everywhere. And it's the same on the, on the positive, um, so I've put a, a buzz bar, two buzz bars, negative and positive, and also I've got space to add extra um, live feeds to that. Okay, so what I've done is I've put this uh, Renogy Wanderer as a control box. So I'll have to raise the roof a minute. Down. Lift that up. There we go. So there's the cables. A bit tight there. Yeah. There's the cables. They come down through here. Top the wardrobe, we'll just see it under there. So it's just down here, and behind there, and the back, and down through a little hole at the bottom there, feeding them through there. Coming out here, and um, go along here into the control box and the controller, and then that feeds to here to the two base bar, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> that feeds them to the buzz bars, which goes to the um, battery. And that's that done. Well, I've just been checking that, and that ain't right. So, Check it with a meter. Right, I'll just check that. So we've got it on amps. And we have got 5.88 amps this morning. And uh, 5.9 amps. 
So that's all right. Voltage. It says it's 40 and a half volts. So the uh, system is lying really. That's not true what it is. Although the battery is fully charged, that system is wrong. Never mind, what's more important to me is the um, indicator that tells me the battery is charged. Um, and the amount of charge going into the battery. That's probably more important. Anyway, there we go. So that's really the installation done. I haven't got anything else to do. Obviously this wiring is terrible. Um, so the only thing I've done to improve it is put the, the buzz bars, the positive and the negative buzz bars in, to tidy up all this. So the other thing I'll be doing is wiring up the other solar panel, the mobile one. But um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my solar panel setup, uh, give us a like uh, and subscribe. And there's going to be more, mainly about this uh, caravan, the Ariba. Um, thank you for watching.